Hi, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick demo of how to make these uh, really simple um, cardstock uh, card shoes. When you're playing a game, for instance, you're a warfighter, uh, you get your sleeve cards and our regular cards, and when they're sleeved, they kind of want to slide around, which makes them great for shuffling, but sometimes not so good for stacking. So, design these little uh, card shoes to uh, to help hold them on the board, uh, use them with uh, 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 Alien Legendary, um, use a Forge War, use several games. You just make these, keep them on your table, uh, pretty quick and easy. The uh, plans are on uh, Board Game Geek. I'll link it in the comment section of the video, in the description of the video. Um, very simple, just cut, uh, score, and fold, uh, a little bit of glue, and um, as you stick glue here, um, and we'll be good to go. So, there's two types. Um, we've got the front draw, and we'll pull straight out of here. Um, side draw, sometimes these work better, uh, just depending where you are. Um, and of course, obviously, with the side draw, they're obviously interchangeable depending on where you put them on the board. But again, pretty straightforward setup. So. What you do is you will uh, download the pattern and cut and score. I got a pattern here, and I use mine on my uh, uh, Silhouette Cameo uh, cutter. So it did all the printing, and uh, you can see the dash lines there. It all the scoring for me, so it makes the folding a lot easier. It's relatively simple. So this is a uh, front draw, and we'll just put it together real quick. Um, first of all, you just want to fold on all the lines. Pulled into the middle. This is going to be your obviously going to be your card area. I'm going to fold this flat back. So it makes your back wall. I'm going to fold the side walls back over themselves again. It makes your side walls. And what we're going to do is this flap will fold in, we'll tab on either side, fold in there like that. What's going to happen is as you raise the walls here, you're going to tuck that tab in the back wall, and that tab in the back wall. We're going to glue those down real quick. Glue stick. a little bit of glue on it, bring it over, glue it down, hold it, and I'm going to hold just enough, close that corner, keep the cards from sliding through, so on the other side, fix it down, fold it over, Glue six pretty quick. So you got the side flaps here have been glued to the back, and then just put some glue all across it. Bring the back flap back down, and now you kind of made it a wall. The reason I do this is I like them double thick, give them a little bit of holding power. Not glued this yet. I'll show you why. So when you got these laying here, um, the cards you want to kind of give it a little tilt. So that's what this part here is. Gives it a little support and a little. Let me get those folded in here. Like that. Gonna fold on itself. Fold back. You're basically doing a fan fold there. And what that does is gives a little bit of support here on the front thin edge, but then also gives you something to hold this together with. So I'm going to put a little glue there. And that 
probably should have glued this first. So get a little bit of glue in there just to hold it nice and tight. And that will help reinforce these sidewalls too. And draw them in. And then put your glue on that tab. On the other tab. So what's going to happen is you got this fan fold here. I'm going to glue those so they stay together too. And holding those together. And then put a little glue on that. Drop that that way. Put a little on that. Hold that that way. So now you've basically got this four thick uh, little wall here on the bottom side. Let me just tuck that up in, hold that down, tuck this one up in here, hold all that down. You don't need a lot of glue, basically, just need to, enough to hold it in place. And there is part you. Not a, not, a, not a super design, but it's functional. And like I said, you just add these to your table like you would dice or anything you just have them make them have them convenient so the other benefit of the little wall here is that it gives it just enough lift so that the slip cards go toward the back instead of sitting here flat and then they can just kind of slide down it kind of gives a little resistance to gravity on a flat uh, table so one thing you'll see here is here's my so we take the whole Warfighter action deck and we set it in. It is right. It's actually taller than the walls. So also in the uh, in the file you're going to download these little uh, increased height wall sections. Or if you need them, you can just fold them. Simple fold. Don't do any gluing. Just lay it in there inside the shoe for the times when you need a little more height to, uh, to keep the cards from sliding out. So it's just a little extension. Uh, you've already got the support from the main shoe. So there's, there's those for that. And then the, the uh, side draw is the exact same thing, just a different layout. Yeah, old. Fold up, fold up, fold up and back, fold your tabs over, and then glue. And it's also got another lift here to uh, tuck all about the glue in this one. It's the same principle, it's just a different different dimension. So I think you got it kind of figured out. What you need to do. You get this all glued together. You'll end up with a side draw shoe. And the side draw wall extension. So bring it up to about two and a quarter inches. About one point. 75 or so in height, but now you got the extra height if you need it for game. But if you don't, then the standard one, standard height will work for you for most games. What I usually do is I'll create a, uh, depending on the game, I'll have a draw and a discard. If I'm playing Combat Commander, I'll have a draw, you know, and then the discard pile goes there. It works great. So there you have it. I will link to the uh, printout file on BGG and hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.